Notification Nation. What's going on? What's happening? Welcome back to the ESPN NFL 2K5 franchise. If you are new to this channel and watching this video right now, go ahead, hit that like, hit that subscribe, and share it if you must. We are at 127 subscribers right now, and we're trying to get to 150 before the end of the year. So do what you need to and enjoy the content that I have coming your way. And speaking of getting in the way, my man Greg Ellis gets his first sack of the game. And looky here, Orange Julius will take that handoff. Oh, and by the way, we are in beautiful digital Irvin, Texas, trying to hold down home field against these here Bengals. And my man Orange Julius is putting in work early. First down and 10, Quincy Carter. Is going to hand it right back off to Orange Julius on the delayed handoff. And my man is getting yards and getting yards quick. Gain of 12 on the play. First down and 10 now. Quincy Carter looking for his first pass of the game. Hold up now. Hold up now. Larry Fitzgerald almost had that one for a touchdown. But it's a pass interference call. And it will go against the defense. We will move up to the one-yard line. And now that is a easy, easy touchdown for my man, Larry Fitzgerald. And we are now on the board seven to nothing. And oh man, we almost had a sack on Carson Palmer. And he tosses that one up to Chad Ochocinco, Chad Johnson at the time. And look at that, man right in the middle of double coverage and not just any double coverage we talking about roy williams and mario Evans. how did he get that i don't know at all loss of two or gain of two on the play i'm sorry and now that pass is going to be complete and that'll get them almost a first down that's going to bring up third down in inches look at these guys numbers man pretty similar to the first two games of the season and that's going to be a easy, easy pickup of a first down right there for the Cincinnati Bengals. But Carson Palmer and uh, and Quincy. Oh, look. Come on, man. Stop playing with Terrence Newman. Stop playing with Terrence Newman. Interception. He's going to go down at the 12-yard line. And now Quincy Carter drops back and gets dropped. Not a good look for Quincy Carter. John Thornton gets into the backfield, drops my man for a loss of five, and we got to get rid of the football and not to them. Oh, no. I guess one interception deserves another, and you have got to be kidding me right now. Quincy Carter is frustrated as well he should be. Delta O'Neal with the interception. What? I Terry Glenn just stood there, waited on the ball, Delta O'Neal did not wait. He jumped the route and took the ball into his hands. And that is going to bring us to the close of the first quarter. We are still on top, but the Bengals are knocking at the door. Seven to nothing, but all of that could change in a matter of seconds. It is third and goal from the two-yard line. Carson Palmer going to hand this one off to Johnson, and he will not get into the end zone fourth and goal from the one yard line they will settle for a field goal and the Cincinnati Bengals are now on the scoreboard it is seven to three and I don't like it but it is what it is man as long as they didn't get that touchdown I'm cool with it now second down and eight we're gonna hand this one off to Orange Julius who runs straight into the defender and he will take that for a gain of seven yards third down and one now and we're going to hand this one off to Orange Julius, our short yardage specialist. And he'll have it for a gain of six yards. My man has been running the ball very, very well today. The game plan, I'd like to think, is working at up until this point anyway. Third down and six now. Quincy Carter looking, throwing, and almost, almost intercepted. Not where we want to be. We'll give the ball back to the Cincinnati Bengals and they will have this one to start the drive at their 18 yard line and Chad Johnson Chad Johnson man it is very hard to guard Chad Johnson on this game I'm just letting you know 
in case you didn't already know. Now, delayed handoff. That is going to be a loss of three for the Bengals. Marcellus Wiley was not fooled at all. And speaking of not fooled, we will get the sack. Come on, man. Our young guys are putting in work today. Third down and 17. That pass, I don't even know what just happened. I have no idea what just happened. And Chad Johnson is on the ground, clutching at his leg. He is injured. And that is not a good sign for the Bengals because Chad Johnson has been carrying them since the word go. I got two guys helping him off the field. Not a good look for the Bengals, but what is a good look is starting from the 25 yard line after that catch. And look at this, Greg Ellis with the interception and Greg is gone. Greg is loose and he might take it into the house and he does. 75 yards on the interception and the Dallas Cowboys will add another touchdown to the scoreboard. Come on, man. That was incredible. My man was out here running, 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 running. We got to take another look at this beautiful interception. Just jumps right in front of his man and look at him. He is gone. He outran everybody. Everybody. Do you hear me? Scary speed from our defensive lineman. And I hope he caught his win back because we are back on defense. And look at this, man. This defense is incredible. I feel very, very confident about this year. Third down and 15 now after the sack. They're gonna send a man in motion, empty backfield now. And Carson Palmer, that is almost a first down, gain of 15. It's gonna bring up fourth down in inches. They will punt the ball. We will get it back and look at Orange Julius, beautiful stiff arm, gain of 13 on the play. The man is doing incredible so far. I am loving this first half for these Dallas Cowboys. Pass is complete. That's gonna get us another first down as Terry Glenn starts to put in some work. And here we go, Quincy Carter dropping back, maybe a little too far. It's all good. And that is not all good. We will overthrow a wide open Larry Fitzgerald. Not a good look. 30 seconds left to go here. Second down and 10. And that time we will not overthrow Larry Fitzgerald. He will catch that and we will immediately call a timeout. Now, here we go. Carter looking down the middle, finding Terry Glenn. And Terry Glenn is gonna find the end zone. Touchdown Cowboys. We extend the lead 21 to three. And here we go with the Not Chris Berman halftime show. Our guys are doing very well at the moment and hopefully we can keep that momentum going. Now, they are smashing us in the passing department and we are smashing them in the rushing department. Total yards, 134 for them, 116 for us, and we have controlled the ball for exactly six seconds longer than they have, but they do have two turnovers to our one, and that could be the difference in the ball game if it keeps going the way it's going. Gain of eight yards for my man Orange Julius as we are back into it. Second down and two now. Look at him, man. He is getting everything he wants out there today. Everything he wants. That's going to be a Cowboys first down. And now play action. And we're going to find Terry Glenn. And Terry Glenn is off to the races. This might be a house call. That's exactly what it is. And we will go up 28 to 3. Come on, man. If we play like this every week, we might win. Wait a minute. Did y'all see that? That was incredible, man. That was, I'm not even going to hold you. That was incredible. I don't know how he caught that. I don't know why we didn't look at a replay. That was incredible. On fourth down and one, they cannot get it. And we will get the ball back and immediately throw an interception. Oh, and here we go. Here we go. We have been here before. We are not trying to be there anymore. <laughs> Hopefully, 
we can keep this game out of the hands of the Bengals. But they're going to run that one for a gain of five. Third down and four now. Carson Palmer, empty backfield, looking to put in some work. And he will not get a chance as that all we do, all we do is win, gets the sack. Loss of six yards on the play. Hey, man, he is an excellent linebacker. That is for sure. Second down and eight now. Quincy Carter going to keep it for himself, and he is going to run this one out of bounds after picking up the first down. Beautiful footwork by my man Quincy. And now here we go. Quincy Carter looking down the middle of the field. That pass is going to be complete to Larry Fitzgerald. He will have a big gain on the play. 108 for my man Terry Glenn, who always will do it again. 51 yards for my man Larry Fitzgerald. Usually those numbers are flipped, but I ain't even hate, man. I ain't hating at all. Ira Mason will get involved in the passing game. He'll have a big catch down the middle, and that's going to bring up third down and goal. And Terry Glenn. Oh, man. Terry is getting scary out here. My man is improving, improving, improving. If you thought he had a good season without Larry Fitzgerald, look at him start to have a good season with Larry Fitzgerald. Wide open. Come on, man. We will win this one by a huge margin, 32 over the Bengals, with the final score being 42 to 10. That is two games in a row where we have held the opposing team to only 10 points. I I'm looking at a Super Bowl team, y'all. Or at least it feels like it. I might be jumping the gun, but uh, we looking pretty dominant out there. I'm not even going to hold you. If you made it this far in the video and you have not subscribed yet, please take the time out to do so as we are trying to reach our goal before the end of the year. But I've been me, you've been you, and until the next time we speak, I'm out.